In this video, you're going to learn how to multiply polynomials. Alright, in example one, we have to multiply a monomial, which is, remember, one term, and then a polynomial. So we have one, two, three, four different terms. So I'm going to rewrite this product so I have some space to work with. And I'm going to indicate the monomial in blue and then the polynomial in red. Alright, so if you have to multiply a monomial by a polynomial, you want to make sure that you distribute the monomial to every single term in the polynomial. Okay, and we're going to use multiplication when we actually simplify our expression. So then I have 3x cubed times 2x cubed, so I'm going to write that in. Okay, so minus... 3x cubed times x squared minus 3x cubed 7x and then minus 3x cubed times 3. Okay? So again, just to reiterate, remember when we distribute our term, we are using multiplication between each product. Okay? So then, I'm going to focus on my 3x cubed and 2x cubed, or 3x cubed times 2x cubed. And I have a 3 and a 2, so then I'm going to multiply those out together, so I have 6. And then remember, if we have two powers with the same base, all we have to do is add our exponents. Okay? So we're multiplying, not adding the two terms together. We, we are multiplying out, so then we apply the properties of our exponents in this situation. So now we have 3 plus 3, so we have 6x to the 6. Okay, so the same thing applies to every single product. So for 3x cubed times x squared, well, I just have a negative 3. So I'm going to write that in. And then two powers with the same base, but different exponents. Add those together. And then you get 3x to the 5th. Next one in line, we have negative 3x cubed times 7x. Well, I'm going to write down the negative and then multiply out my 3 and my 7. I get 21. And then I have two powers again with the same base of x. The exponents, we have 3, and then we have a 1 in place for the, I guess, the no value you would see, but it's technically a 1. Add their exponents and then write it in, 21x to the 4th. And then finally, we have negative 3x cubed times 3, well we have a 3 and a 3, so I'm going to write down 9 because that's the product of 3 times 3, and then finally there is no variable that you multiply with x cubed, so we just leave it as x cubed. Alright, so once you distribute all of your, your monomial to every term in your polynomial, double check to see if 1, your polynomial is written in descending order or standard form, and if there are any like terms to combine. So right now we have 6x cubed, 3, negative 3x to the 5th, negative 21x to the 4th, and negative x cubed. There are no like terms, so this would be my final answer. Alright, in example 2, we have to multiply two polynomials together. So we got two different polynomials that we, we are actually working with. Now, just like before, um, when we multiply polynomials, we have to make sure we distribute every single term using multiplication to every single term in the other polynomial. And I have a little strategy to make sure that we account for every single term in each polynomial when they're actually multiplying everything out. Okay? So I'm going to uh, label my terms 1, 2, and 3 and draw a box to the left. Okay, it's really fast. Alright, so since we have 1, 2, and 3 terms in the first polynomial, I'm going to make 3 rows in my box. Okay, So then I look at my second polynomial and I make, uh, I'm going to label them 1 and 2. And so then since I had 3 rows in my box, or 3 rows in my polynomial, well, 3 terms in my polynomial, I made 3 rows. My second polynomial had 2 terms, so I'm going to make 2 columns. Down the line, I'm going to write down the terms of my first polynomial. So in orange, I'm going to write down a squared, 
negative 6a, and then negative 3. And then across the top, I'm going to write down the two terms in my second polynomial, 2a, and then negative 5. All right, so then we have uh, our terms written out across and down the line. So we're going to use multiplication when we actually distribute using multiplication. And what I mean is that we're going to multiply 2a times a squared, and we're going to put that product in this box, a squared times negative 5, and put that product in this box. Okay, let's, so let's check this out. So 2a times a squared, we get 2a cubed. All right, so then across, we're going to multiply a squared and negative 5. We should get negative 5a squared. And then going down the line, negative 6a times 2a, uh, negative 12a squared. And then negative 6 times negative 5, we should get positive 30a. And then finally, negative 3 times 2a, we get negative 6a. And then finally, we should get a positive 15. All right, so off to the right, I'm going to write down the products of my polynomial. And in my boxes, I'm looking for the highest uh, exponents. So then I'm looking at the 2a cubed and looking for anything that has in common. So any like terms of 2a cubed. I'm not seeing any. So then that just write, you just write down 2a cubed first. And then the next in line would be the a squared. So then we have actually this box and that box, we have to combine them. So we actually have a negative 12a squared minus a 5a squared. So negative 12a squared minus 5a squared will get negative 17a squared. And then the next, we have two like terms, 30a and negative 6a. So negative 6a plus 30a, we get, put smiley faces to indicate that those are like terms, we get a positive 24a. And then the lone ranger here, has no like terms, the constant is plus 15. Alright, pause the video, try this one on your own, and then unpause it to see how you did. Alright, how'd you do? Alright, same thing, pause the video here, and check out how you would do the second you try now. Did you get it right? All right, last but not least, try multiplying out these two polynomials. We have three for three, one for three, two for three. Well, that is the bell. Make sure that you definitely write that down if you did well, did not understand, and then I can help you out the next day.